Well, the opening of the new school term went off well, except for problems at one or two schools. And head of the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association, Lindsley Dudai, says it's expected that some problems will show up at the beginning of a term. Opening of the new school term was relatively smooth because I do think that at the beginning of every term when you have close to 600 primary and secondary schools in the country that you would expect that things would be fine at all of them. Sometimes problems would crop up. It is our understanding that a few schools were disrupted yesterday at the reopening of the new school term. Beach and the primary school, the teachers there would have withdrawn their services under the provisions of the OSH Act due to the severe prevalence of back droppings at the school. He says this is an ongoing problem at the school and he notes the teachers have been exercising tolerance. However, faced with no change in their circumstances on Monday, it was decided that they would exercise rights under the OSH Act and leave. Now, two other schools experienced sewer problems and the need they needed to close earlier than normal. The Palo Seco Secondary School and the Nepal Presbyterian Primary School have been suffering for some time now with these changes. Mr. Dudai is also condemning bomb scares at three schools. There was a bomb scare at San Fernando Boys Astra. Three schools were disrupted at that share a common compound at Astra Girls College, Astra Boys College, and San Fernando Astra Primary School. So they would want to condemn that hoax call to the school that had serious repercussions in terms of affecting the education of hundreds of children. I'm sure it would have gone into the thousand range because it's three schools we are talking about them. So I'm sure it would have caused over 1,000 students who would have been affected. The future head is calling on the police to find the perpetrator and to prosecute the individual.